And let's check in with Dr. Smith with For Pet's Sake as she gives us advice on tick prevention for your dog. Hi, I'm Dr. Smith. Ticks are capable of transmitting more than just Lyme disease to our furry friends, including anaplasma, babesia, and ehrlichia, all of which can be prevented. First, your pet should receive tick prevention year-round, whether it be a topical, a collar, or a pill. Talk to your vet about which form of prevention is best for your pet. Next, check for ticks daily, especially during the warmer months. If you find one, consider bringing your pet to the vet for proper tick removal. Look out for symptoms of tick-borne diseases like lameness, swollen joints, and fatigue. And remember, prevention is always the best medicine. To connect with me and to ask your pet questions, visit drdevinsmith.com and check me out on social media. To share your favorite pet moments with our community, go to our news app, click Explore, chime in, and upload your pet-tastic photos. The following segment on the 574 and more is sponsored by Homeward Bound Animal Welfare Group. Welcome back to the 574 and more. And joining me is Jen Schwartz from Homeward Bound. And oh my gosh, look at these babies you brought in today. Who do we have here? They don't officially have names <gasps> yet. You can name them. Oh so my gosh. You've got a little boy and I have a girl. What kind of dogs are these? They are super cute mutts. Most likely there's some shepherd in them, probably some collie. Uh -huh. We have a, a voice on us like a shepherd over here too, besides having this muzzle. Yeah. So, so where are they from? These are from Arkansas. <gasps> oh, can you hear him? Oh, they're talking. He's making some noise. Mm -hmm. Are you making puppy noises? Oh, hi, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so they're from Arkansas. Yes. And it's puppy season down there. It's already starting. They're already having unwanted litter show up in their shelters. Yeah. So. And this, these are two of seven. Two of seven in this litter. We do have uh, some additional puppies to go online. I have a lot of work to do on Pet Finder tonight. Yeah. Um, I've got about 20 or 25 dogs to get online that are new. So oh, look at him. Oh my gosh. Look right, <laughs> right into camera one. Oh, I would call him by his name, but he doesn't have one yet. So um, you know, he wouldn't know it. Here's the funny thing. I just kissed the top of his head, and you can see my lipstick on him still. Oh, my goodness. They're so adorable. Now, one thing that we wanted to talk about is um, with the population of puppies, make sure to get your dog spayed and neutered. So important, um, not only to stop unwanted litters, but there's a lot of health benefits to your own dog to being spayed or neutered you mm -hmm. um, bypass a lot of the typical cancers that they can get if they're not spayed mm -hmm. or neutered mm -hmm. so a lot of benefits to that and of course you hate to see puppies like these ending up in shelters um, where space is an issue because unfortunately many of them do lose their lives for that yeah Oh my goodness, of course. Hard do you to get imagine. Lot, do you get a lot of puppies with Homeward Bound? We really try. Um, we would like to take more, but we need fosters for them. Uh -huh. um, and it's it, puppy fosters that can be a little bit messy when they get to this size. So we try to get them moving after they've got two series of vaccines. And these puppies are actually spayed and neutered. They just got spayed and neutered yesterday. Oh, yesterday? Yeah, they're they're. You're doing so Freshly good. Spayed. They they bounce back pretty quickly. They have big paws. How how big are these guys going to get? I cannot imagine they would be less than sixty pounds. Oh, are you trying to get to your sister? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, uh, get me off this crazy lady's lap. I want to go hang out with my sis. They probably like to cuddle next to each other, don't they? Yeah. Keep each other warm. That'll be something new for them when they get adopted. They've never yeah. been apart. Oh, we need to so. find good homes. Look at that <laughs> face. Oh, my gosh. Well, I think you might have found a home right here. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, so cute. Such good coloring, too. Okay, so when somebody wants to adopt one of these guys, mm -hmm. how can they do that? How can they get a hold of you? Um, contact us at Homeward boundawg.com uh -huh. and at that point we'll ask you a couple questions we'll shoot you an application you fill it out we have somebody call an interview over the over the phone with you uh -huh. and that person is kind of like your liaison and then we would set an appointment all right great well they've done so good they haven't uh, done their business on me like we were afraid they might because <laughs> they're not trained yet but uh, this is the 574 and more and we'll be right back look at that face mm. 